Nobody told me waiting was going to be this hard. Nobody told me the weight of waiting was going to be this heavy. I imagine it to be quite frustrating, but not this, this stressful. With the second hand on my second hand clock, reminding me with each tick tock that time is not on my side. Desperate and hopeless, I dropped to my knees like the city and cried out to the Lord. Why are you avoiding me, Lord? Is it me or that your clock has stopped working? Because I can't fathom how the author of time can lose track of time. You said we should ask in faith and it shall be given. We should seek and we shall find. We should knock and the door shall be opened. Well, I've been asking. Like a thunder's roar, I've been banging on your door, seeking, hoping to find before the strike of dawn because time is bolting. I ask, Lord, what you saying? You ain't saying anything and it's driving me insane. I need a clue to my fate. Why must I wait? Is it a yes, a go-ahead sign, or even a no to which I can resign? My future and all to which I can relate hang in the balance, yet your silence is deafening, making me wonder if you really love me like you say. Maybe it's just a fallacy. Do you not love me, ye or nay? Suddenly, Obatampa Nyankopon slowly reached out to me and whispered, Child, you must wait. For what exactly, I asked. Obatampa Nyankopon knelt beside me and with teary eyes replied, You've cried, fasted and prayed, yet it seems delayed with your future hanging in the balance and you wonder why the wait well, just so you know, I, the author of time, has not lost track of time. My wrist is too big for your watch, so stop stressing about time bolting like you're saying. Your anxieties and frustrations will only drive you insane. I, who clothe the lilies and feeds the sparrow, know exactly what you need. Indeed, see, I have engraved you in the palm of my hands and I watch over you day and night. So in my word, take delight. In my word, take the light. You will never experience the fullness of my love. Now my peace descending on you like a dove, my comfort late in the night, not the faith I give when you walk without sight. You will never know, should your pain quickly free, what it means that my grace is sufficient for thee. So be still, relax. For perseverance is only working on making you mature and complete, lacking nothing. I who called you into fellowship with my son, I am faithful. And though my answers may seem terribly late, trust me, in the end, it will be worth the wait. Wait. <sighs> I felt... My dark clouds shrink in his presence where I was standing. My heaviness gave way to his peace surpassing all understanding. He has been constant, the same yesterday, today, and forever, while I have been the variable constantly tossing and turning in the bed of doubts. But now I watch a wait, enjoying the moving in the hallway, Celebrating with those who have received with the full knowledge that he, Obatampanyankopong, makes all things beautiful in his time.